Hi, if you have hip pain, this video is for you. I'm Dr. Karen Drummond, owner of Drummond Chiropractic, and I'm gonna be sharing with you the top five things that you should be discussing with your healthcare provider if you have hip pain. So the number one thing you should be discussing is obviously your hip. They should be checking your hip, they should be checking the range of motion of your hip and the muscles surrounding your hip. Now, if they discuss a course of action with you and after a week or two you're not seeing any progress, then maybe they'll be discussing getting some x-rays. And all x-rays are gonna show you is the bony condition of your hip. Does it have arthritis? Is there a bone problem with your hip? Do you have osteoporosis? These are all things to consider if you have hip pain because you wanna make sure that it's not an inflammatory process that's causing your hip pain, that your hip isn't fracturing from osteoporosis. And another thing that they wanna check for is bursitis. Now this might require an MRI to make sure that the bursitis isn't inflaming. The number one thing I see missed in hip pain is labral tears because usually healthcare providers think of labral tears just from athletes, from doing some extraneous activity or some gross trauma. But just because you're not an athlete does not mean you don't have a labral tear. If you're not responding to physical therapy, chiropractic, or other modalities for your hip pain after a couple months, talk to your healthcare provider about getting an MRI with contrast. A typical x-ray and a typical MRI is gonna miss a labral tear because this tear is so small, it's not seen on any x-ray and often missed on regular MRIs. So you wanna make sure you get an MRI with contrast because what they do is they inject your hip with contrast and look for any leakages through your labrum. And if you have a leak, it might need surgery. So make sure you talk to your healthcare provider about this possibility. The second thing you need to make sure that your healthcare provider is looking at is your feet. If one foot collapses more than the other, that's gonna to lead to a torsion in either your ankles, your knees, or your hips, and on up. So if you have a drop in one of your arches that's causing your hip to torque, that could be causing your hip pain. So make sure that they're looking at your feet, not just non-weight bearing, but also weight bearing to see if you have one collapsing more than the other, that might explain why your hip isn't getting better over time. Three, make sure they're checking the low back. Maybe there's nothing wrong with your hip at all. Maybe the pain is coming from a pinched nerve in your low back. So make sure they're checking your low back. Four, make sure they're checking your SI joints. A lot of times people will feel pain in their hip or around where they think their hip is, but it's due to a sprained SI joint. I have several videos on this topic alone. Check out my videos on SI sprains and SI belts to learn more. And last but not least, number five is the lymphatic system. Make sure that they're checking the groin for swollen lymph nodes or backage of your lymphatic system in your lower extremity because there could be a pooling of lymph which is full of metabolic waste like lactic acid that can lead to a burning sensation in the hip. So make sure that they're checking that system as well. I have other videos on the lymphatic system if you wanna learn more. So hopefully this has been helpful and as always, if you like our content, please like and subscribe, and until next time, stay well.